as his greatest triumph came when he visited Rome a few years ago. He was in the Vatican, where of course he belonged, <laughs> and the door suddenly opened and Mussolini strode in, looked at the end of the room at the two thrones where these two figures were seated, turned to the Italian king and said, who in God's name is that man in the white robe talking to Hannon Swaffer? <laughs> did I dream, Lord Beaverbrook, that in celebration of my survival after 40 years of it, that I should be honored by the presence tonight, not only of so many of my friends, most of those present are bound to me with ties of affection, mm -hmm. but by the presence in the chair, Lord Beaverbrook, of you, for whom, as you know, I have the highest and deepest <laughs> personal regards. But I want to say this to you tonight. I'm sure with the approval of everybody <coughs> here, that never mind how much money you lose, that won't matter. Belief in privilege and power and pomp and might has all gone. Men are groping towards a new order of things, planning, however blunderingly in their minds, a better world. And we are going to be judged by posterity, you and me, by whether in creating that new order we do our jobs or not. As individuals, we don't matter a damn, except when I write in millions of copies, I'm utterly unimportant. But if when I write in millions of copies, I tell the truth as I can see it, I'm bloody important. And so are all of you. Privilege stop us. We mustn't let pomp and might stop us. We must do our jobs, because if we do, there will be a new world. Yeah. 